For this week's installment of Case of the Week, rather than just show you a specific case, I wanted to talk about a broad class of cases, and I wanted to talk to you about cementing and bonding brooks or crowns and bridges into place. We're doing lots of these restorations now, and this is one of the biggest area of questions that I get via email and at my lecture. So let's talk a little bit about zirconia first. Zirconia is a metal. Brooks or crowns are made of zirconia oxide, and so it's a structural ceramic, but zirconia oxide acts a lot like zirconia does. And zirconia is a metal, and like most metals, it shows a real affinity for phosphate groups. So zirconia oxide loves to bond with and is highly attracted to phosphate groups. Now, sometimes phosphate groups come in good places. Uh, certain primers that we use for zirconia, such as Z Prime Plus from Bisco or Monobond Plus from Ivaclar, or we'll find a phosphate containing cement like Ceramer from Doxa, where the cement itself will actually bond to a Bruxer crown. All these products have phosphate groups in them that interact very well with the zirconium oxide. Now there's something else that also has phosphates in it, and it's saliva. So saliva contains phosphates in the form of phospholipids. So what this means is anytime we try a Bruxer crown or bridge in the mouth, and we get saliva on the inside of it, now all of a sudden the phosphate groups in the patient's saliva are bonding to the zirconium oxide particles on the inside of the Bruxer crown or bridge. So your first thought may be, well, I need to rinse this out and clean the saliva out of there. And you can rinse the saliva out, but the phosphate groups are left behind, and they're still bound to the zirconium oxide on the inside of the crown. Your second thought may be, mine was, this is an all ceramic crown. I'm gonna do what I always did with all ceramic crowns, and I'm going to take some phosphoric acid, some etch that we would use in the mouth, and I'm going to put this on the inside of this all ceramic restoration and then rinse it out. And that will clean out this restoration. Well, that works great for regular porcelain like Empress that we used to do for veneers. But think about it for a minute. Phosphoric acid is full of, yes, phosphates. And so when you put phosphoric acid inside a Bruxer Crown Bridge and rinse it out, now you have really messed things up unknowingly because I did this a lot in the beginning and now all of a sudden you've got phosphate groups bonded everywhere to the inside of the Brux or Crown or Bridge and nothing's going to stick to it. In fact, you're better off just leaving the, rinsing out the saliva and not using the phosphoric acid. You never want to use that inside a Brux or Crown or Bridge. But either way, we've still got some phosphate groups bonded to the inside of the crown. And that's what I wanted to talk about today is a new product from Ivoclar, something called IvoClean. And the IvoClean is an interesting little product uh, because it's an aqueous solution, a little purple solution, and it's got suspended in it about 15% zirconium oxide. So we have zirconia oxide inside this bottle, the same type of zirconia oxide that's in the Bruxer crown. So what happens is we place the IvoClean inside a Bruxer crown that's been placed in the mouth. So it had saliva in it, we rinsed out the saliva, but there's still phosphate groups left behind on the inside of the crown. Now we place the IvoClean inside the Bruxer crown for 20 seconds, and because we have such a high gradient, a high concentration of zirconia oxide particles in the IvoClean, it acts like a sponge, and it actually sucks up the phosphate groups from the inside of the Bruxer crown into the IvoClean itself because of that gradient, and then we rinse the IvoClean out of the crown after 20 seconds, and now we have a fresh bonding surface on the inside of the Bruxer crown for a phosphate group of our choice. Z Prime Plus, Monobond Plus, or the Ceramer Cement. Now we get to choose which of the phosphate groups that we want bonding with the inside of our Bruxer crown. I don't think it's possible to even try Bruxer crowns and bridges in the mouth without getting some saliva on the inside of it and have some of these phosphate groups inadvertently bond to the inside of the crown. Now you might ask yourself, do I need to use the IvoClean on every Bruxer crown that I do? I'm using it now on every Bruxer crown that I do just to get a strong enough bond. But I'll tell you this, I cemented two years worth of Bruxer crowns uh, without using IvoClean and only two of them have fallen off. But most of my preparations were uh, nice and long and uh, the two that did fall off were some shorter preps in the posterior regions of the mouth. Now we know a lot of doctors are just using Bruxer for lower second molars and maybe lower first molars and by definition those are going to be shorter preps and so retention of the Bruxer crown onto the prep is going to be more of a challenge. So I think it's an easy enough procedure to do to use the IvoClean on all your Bruxer crowns if you want to ensure you're getting the maximum bond strength of your cement to your Bruxer restoration.